Hello, it's me. Um, hello, it's me, take two. Um, day seven of our daily challenge as a group of us. I like saying bundle at the moment. Bundle of people who, like me, are getting on to do Facebook Live every day. I'm going to leave my spectacles on. So I can't get into my bank account this morning because I paid something yesterday and it flashed up this there's no authorization and then it went anyway so i think i might be locked out of my bank account so that's doodah number one um i'm having to write down our little um phrase or saying that we've got to fill in and so <laughs> i've just filled my gap because i've just had my breakfast and so what i've had for breakfast is a little bit of granola um a little bit of muesli some raspberries some blueberries and a bit of banana and a um, covered in coconut milk, which is in a glass bottle, which I love, which is from Rooted, I think it's called. It comes with the River for Daughter that I have. Um, so, fill the gap. I've filled my gap. What else? Fill the gap Thursday. So, what else is going on? There's a bit of a rumble going on in my Facebook group in Healing Parents about religion, which I've got to go and... Um, help to evolve, explore, um, resolve, um, and various other things like that. But what I really came on to say is, um, I've just read, I get a little daily Enneagram thing from the Enneagram Institute, because I'm big into the Enneagram. I am going to take my glasses off, because I can feel them on my nose. Um, and the Enneagram is a really wonderful personality tool. And the, and the saying for, day, for today was something around um, wisdom. In order to be able to give your wisdom away, we have to have an integrated personality. Yay. So I got to thinking, okay, so how integrated do I feel? How integrated? So what does that, that actually mean? You know, like what does having an integrated personality hello i'm sunday and i've got an integrated personality what does it mean what does it mean to you to have an integrated personality so for me my thoughts go straight to triggers and if i am aware that i am under the influence of triggers that i am able to handle myself in a way that is in alignment with my own integrity for a start off and also seeks to, um, that's interesting because what came in there is that I don't have the urge to understand things. Is that true? I, I sense that I don't always need to know. Um, I don't hear myself, I don't understand, in that way that sort of like, I just don't understand, you know, I don't, I don't tend to have that in my, so maybe I've integrated, what's happening with my hair, I keep seeing it flick, <laughs> got somebody flicking me hair, some ethereal spirit being around me, I guess, well maybe I don't, who knows. I'm going all over the place with this, aren't I? It's just I'm feeling very alive this morning. I've, yeah, and I noticed that when I keep my word around agreements that I have, you know, I said yesterday I was going to go in the river and I went in the river. And um, there's also other bits and bobs, you know, not eating after my evening meal, you know, not diving into the cupboard to snack. And I noticed that, and I've had a good sleep, probably the first good sleep for a few nights. And I notice, anyway, back to, I'm, I'm digressing. So this integrated personality thing. So for me, it is about being able to handle myself around my triggers and my disagreements with other people's points of view and beliefs and, and working towards that acceptance of myself mainly. You know, if I, if I can accept myself, because those triggers do remind me where I'm not at peace with myself yet. You know, oh, I like to tagged on yet there. <laughs> so, yeah, what does an integrated personality feel, look, taste, sense like to you? What does it mean to you to have an integrated personality? There's that quote, isn't there? A life, a life left 
unexplored is a, is a sort of wasted life. I don't particularly like that judgment of it being a wasted life. And yet there is something about opening up the inside in our inner world that is really supportive to the planet as a whole, to other people, and mostly to myself. Because if I know myself as much as I possibly can, because I have no idea how I got into this body or who made me other than that I'm part of the whole of the big mystery God whatever you want to, to label that as there's some sort of creative force that assisted me this is my take on it anyway in getting into this this organism that's called Sunday that's got a label of Sunday that was given to me by my parents and um and the personality that I developed as a result of the family that I grew up with, the heritage line, all of that. Um, yeah, the mystery of ourselves, the wonderment of ourselves, you know that. So how coming home to yourself and noticing things that are outside of yourself are just things, events, situations i mean we're old enough now to know that all things do pass you know what really irritates us in the moment is gone in the next you know and and i was thinking about judgment with this post that's going on in my in my group you know the judgments that we have and it's the judgments are just fear that's what my take on judgments are and we all have them because we're wired to look after ourselves you know if we didn't have a little bit of um, suspicion and critical thinking and doubt and uncertainty and all of those sorts of things we'd risk our life our physical life for a start off and most of us probably don't have such a risky other than crossing the road <laughs> <laughs> or swimming in the river you know the risk in a lot of people's life is quite minimal and yet what we are at risk of is each other and isn't that sad and maybe that's not true as well you know in the next breath I'm thinking maybe that isn't true because what my perceptions are what then create me to have judgments if I look at somebody who looks like they're cross, I'll make a story up around it and then I'll I'll have a an energetic response to that person in that way. And that they could just be sad, you know, and they've got one of those resting sad faces faces. So yeah, this is all interwingled. Interwingled, that's a new word. Interwingled, I love that. Interweaved and intermingled. <laughs> interwingled. Can I have that one? That's mine. Interwingled. I love it. <laughs> oh, dear me. So, <clears throat> so I, I, yeah, my invitation today is have a look. What is an integrated personality for you? And how integrated are you? And, and is it ego or is it higher self that's saying, yeah, I'm pretty good. I've got a lot of my stuff integrated. I know myself. I know where my, mostly where my um, gaps are. <sighs> and self-acceptance, self-love. I think that's the um, cherry on the cake for an integrated personality is that you like yourself, you love yourself. You'd be okay living, well, you do live with yourself. Um, you're not running away from yourself. You're happy to hang out with yourself. You have nice conversations in your head with yourself. I'm grateful for the being that you are. And from that place, come, in, come into the world with a sense of contribution and participation and service rather than perhaps when I was young, <clears throat> excuse me, when I was younger, I was more of a taker. You know, I was looking for what I could get out of life. Now I'm looking for what I can receive from life. You know, what I can, how much 
life can I bring into me and equally how much life and how much life can I give to life you know that that feels quite magical really so on that note and on the inter in, what was it interwinkled yep I shall love you and leave you I'll go do my day I'll go spread some magic around the world with me secret magic wand and um and maybe you can do too I heard a lovely saying which was if somebody hasn't got a smile give them yours isn't that lovely so I love you lots. I'll, if you're in, in the Healing Parents group, I'll be in there later on this afternoon seeing if I can sort out a bit of the bone fight. And, um, and if you are in there and you've found that it's been very difficult and you've, um, maybe you've come out of the group, maybe you're still friends with me, um, or maybe you're not, maybe you've blocked me. You know, wherever you are and you're in that group, um, there's a load of lessons in that, load of lessons in how to have an integrated personality on that post, you know, where you can see your gaps, no doubt about it. The way that you commented, the way that you respond, the way that you have posted, it's a very clear indicator of where you are in your journey towards an integrated personality. <laughs> see you soon. Bye.